Woo, well, what's going on, my favourite friends out there? Um, I decided to do a potato reveal today. <clears throat> it's the... Ooh, what date have we got? 13th of July, 2023. Uh, kind of an overcast day here at the moment. Uh, some dark clouds, as you can see. Yeah, there's some rain on the way. We've had quite a lot of rain actually over the last few days. More forecasts for the weekend. Um, so I decided I need some potatoes uh, for my evening meal. And uh, now, I don't have all the technology stuff. I don't have all the GoPros or the stands or whatever you need for recording. I'm learning as I'm going. Uh, but I've just harvested uh, a container of Cara potatoes and I would have planted them back in March on the 23rd of March so that's March, April, May, June, July and um, let's have a look and see what we have so there's some potato or potatoes they are not potatoes Tara they are cabbages uh, that are still growing um, I had a head of that last Sunday they were absolutely delicious uh, some onions inside there with a load of weeds uh, More potatoes there in the background That are will be need, will need to be harvested soon enough uh, Inside in this raised bed There's some parsnips and some onion or some carrots going God my brain is not acting correctly at all. However back to this uh, reveal of Cara potatoes so a lot of my potatoes thus far have been quite small but feast your eyes on these wonderful things take a look at the, look at the size of that potato look it's the size of my the palm of my hand um really really pleased with the uh outcome of that uh, that's the pot that it was in it was a a 30 litre pot and I just used peat free compost which I'm not a huge fan of uh, put in some blood fish and bone and uh, some other um, uh, seaweed based fertilizer and uh, I just put two seed potatoes in there um, I've only found one of the seed potatoes the other is disintegrated uh, filled the container up about a third full uh, added my fertilizers put the two seed potatoes in and just filled it to the top and as we all know with there these are a main crop potato actually they can produce tubers on different levels but I'm not one that goes in for earthing up and all that because I believe that can actually damage the stalk and invariably the tuber as well but um yeah, I've just harvested these in the wheelbarrow. And uh, look at all of them. Yeah, there's even another big, there's a bigger one down here, I believe. Look at the size of that for a potato. I am so pleased and proud of that. Um, and basically, I'll just steam them. I'll wash them, steam them, and uh, they'll be absolutely delicious. Just have a quick... Look around to see what else is going on. There are the carrots and the parsnips. They won't be ready for quite some time. More of the potatoes here. They're looking a bit, God help us, but I'm leaving them in the ground as long as I can. There's Sarpomira right there. I have some more rhubarb going. The strawberries have almost come to the end of the season, but they're sending out runners and they are just shooting up all over the place. Magic is giving a little bark in the background. Now, over here, we have these Monge 2. Mum used to love Monge 2. And let me tell you guys, these are the gift that keep on giving. Look at this lovely Monge 2 right here. Now, I'm going to leave that. I'll harvest that tomorrow. But I've been eating Monge 2 for the last three or four days. And every day I come out, there's more and more and more. Now, yesterday, I was in a farmer's market, I won't say where, but would you believe that they were charging 
18 euro for a kilo of these guys 18 euro for a kilo of those I mean that's what I call a ripoff for a public I bought those plants there's six plants I put into a very large tub I bought them and I will name check Carew's Gar uh, Gar Carewswood Garden Centre in Castle Martyr in East Cork I bought six of those plants for three euro and there's still loads and more to be harvested delighted with that I have some lettuce plants they'll be transplanted very very soon lovely head of lettuce here coming now right here this is a chili plant now I've never grown chilies before so I'm not quite sure what to expect but look we'll see what happens and I still have the flowers going love the flowers um, garden is getting on top of me a little bit could do with a little bit of help to uh, maybe cut the grass uh, but I'm afraid to ask because I'm still out of work I don't have the money um, but you know to be able to produce your own food and to be able to eat it means an awful lot because it means I'm not going to go hungry but another quick scan of the garden I've had some great roses unfortunately they're a bit god help us with the wind but yeah there we have and look at that majestic view to finish up all the way out the harbour where would you get a view like that so that's it from me um if you want more updates if you want to follow my channel on youtube hit the subscribe link uh, also give a like to this video if you like it really appreciate it but this is uh, another one of many to come so take care for now and happy gardening guys and get out there into the wilds into the nature and enjoy life take care bye bye